With our first archer, we will have a chance to see a peel out release. This is a release where the archer twists his hand and pulls off the bottom fingers first. At full speed, it's hard to spot, but in slow motion, it is very clear. Notice also how his fingers are tensed out. This indicates that he is pulling his fingers open rather than just releasing or letting go. Watch again. And of course the follow through makes it all look perfectly normal. But it has nothing at all to do with the release action. It did nothing to correct it. Here we see another perfectly normal looking release. Until we watch it in slow motion. Here again. Notice how his fingers are tensed out. He is pulling his fingers open rather than just letting go. And again, the follow through makes it all look normal. But we saw the flaw. This archer starts out in line basically with his elbow and hands. But notice the bend in his wrist. This indicates that he is pushing up against his chin. When he releases, we can see the arm and hand come up to the ear as a result of this upward pressure. The adverse effect is obvious and we could see it even before we started by watching for signs of the adverse stresses. Let's look at it again closer. Notice again the bend in the wrist. He is pushing up against his chin. He releases and the hand comes out from under the chin and moves up. Then it comes in line with his follow through. But the shot was determined by the release, not the follow through. Notice how high the draw elbow is on this archer. She is vertically out of line and pushing her hand down. When she releases, her hand snaps down as a result of the tension. Also, notice how her elbow snaps down. This indicates that she is playing with her side muscles as well as her back muscles. Here is a dead release. It looked okay at first glance, but watch it again in slow motion. He releases and the hand goes nowhere. Then, an instant later, he brings the back tension in again and the normal response begins. It's a good cover-up, but the release was clearly dead and without tension. Here we see an archer with a dual flaw, a wrist snap in and a swing out follow through. But he separates them. That is why the swing out does not affect his shot. This archer has a multitude of alignment errors. Watch all the problems that they cause. First, the hand snaps down. Then the elbow snaps down. Then the hand swings out.
Let's watch it from another angle. Now you can see it all, even at full speed. First the hand snaps in, then down. The familiar chest thump release. This is what affects the shot. Then the swing out follow through. Notice how far forward this archer's elbow is. The wrist tension sets him up for a snap and release. Notice how distinct and sharp the snap is. Also, notice how quickly he lets the wrist tension go and makes it all look normal in his follow through. But it's all too late. This former Olympic gold medalist has a similar alignment problem and the same wrist snap. Notice how open he keeps his shoulders too. This doesn't help his alignment at all. The wrist snap is clear, as is the swing out follow through. All archers who are out of line do not have the wrist snap in. Some of them err the other direction and pluck the string. Here is a clear example of a pluck release caused by misalignment. But the follow through disguises it all. Here is an aligned archer with a very good release. But notice how her elbow snaps down when she releases. She is clearly pulling with her side muscles. This archer starts out with her elbow high. We see the expected snap down of the hand. The elbow also moves down, indicating side muscle tension. Her final position is near perfect, but she did not arrive there through the perfect route. On this archer, notice the unusual grip with the index finger extended. Other than that, the release seems relatively normal, but let's look at it closer. First, we see the classic hand snap in resulting from the out of line pre stresses. Also, notice the fingers tensing out. She is not just releasing, she is pulling her fingers open. Her follow-through was relatively simple, but by this point the arrow is already long gone. The shot was determined by her initial hand actions and response, and not by her follow-through. Here we see another perfectly normal looking release, until we watch it in slow motion. She is vertically out of line and pushing her hand down. When she releases, her hand snaps down as a result of the tension. The familiar chest thump release, but the follow through disguises it all. Notice how far forward this archer's elbow is. 
The wrist tension sets up for a snap and release. Notice how distinct and sharp the snap is. Her follow through was relatively simple, but the shot was determined by the release, not the follow through. This archer is out of line, but he keeps his wrist in a bent back position. The wrist appears to be loose, but when he releases we can see that the tension snaps the hand in, and he holds that tension throughout his follow through. 